Let's find the number of lone pairs for CO. This is carbon monoxide. So to find the lone pairs for CO, we need a valid Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for carbon monoxide. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of the video and in the description how to do the Lewis structure for carbon monoxide. So when we look at our Lewis structure, we have these electrons here and here. They're not between atoms, so they're not involved in chemical bonds. These are the lone pair electrons for CO, carbon monoxide. We also call them unbonded electrons because they're not involved in chemical bonds. The electrons shared between the carbon and the oxygen, between these atoms, these are called bonded pairs of electrons. These electrons are involved in a covalent bond. Sometimes we'll replace these with lines to show that these electrons are involved in chemical bonds. But the ones on the outside, they're called lone pair electrons. And for carbon monoxide, we have one, two. So we have two lone pairs, and then we have one, two, three, three bonded pairs of electrons. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.